Well, that's right, everyone. It's the return of Super Mario 3D All-Stars. It's only been like a couple weeks, but hey, we're back. We're all happy about it. We've previously played through Super Mario Galaxy, Super Mario Sunshine, and now our trip through Mario history is going to be complete with Super Mario 64, the very first Super Mario 3D platformer. Uh, so I guess we can read this description before we jump on in. Princess Peach has invited Mario to her castle to enjoy some cake. On his arrival, he's greeted by an eerie silence until Bowser's laughter echoes through the halls. You know what, this just seems like it's reading like spoilers. Uh, let's just get into this. Now, what is my personal experience with Super Mario 64? Um, I haven't played it before. Kind of. Um... Uh, yes, hello, Mario. Um... So basically, I've played Super Mario 64 DS, which at this point is probably almost like two years ago, sheesh. I will be that Mario, sure. Which, as I understand it, is similar, and kind of a remake. Thank you, Peach. Um... So I've played Super Mario 64 DS before for one of my uh, challenge videos, which uh, if you haven't seen the Super Mario 64 uh, DS No Coins video, check that out on the main channel. <laughs> Enough personal uh, promotion aside, though. Uh, as I understand it, that is kind of a remake with a bunch of, like, added stuff to it. So I'm not sure if that honestly counts as playing Super Mario 64 or not. So you know what? You guys, leave a comment down there. As someone who has played Super Mario 64 DS, am I a newcomer to this, or am I a, a returning player? Because, again, I honestly am not sure. Anyways, uh, ciao! You've reached Princess Toadstool's castle via a warp pipe. Using the controller is a piece of cake. Press B to jump and Y to attack. Press A to read signs, too. Use the L stick to move Mario around. Now head for the castle. Thank you. Okay, good. I can use A. I don't know why, but I am... I, I, I use A. That, that is my, my thing. Uh, let's read a sign. Hello. Okay. Thank you, sign. Uh -huh. Oh, crouching. Alright. And we can punch. Yes, yes, yes. And throw stuff. Alright, great. There we go. Look at Mario. A full-on brawler in this game. He could be a Smash Brother. Anyways, I gotta be in front of the sign to read it. I mean, it's logical, but annoying. Okay, yeah, B to jump off backwards, okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, honestly, I'm feeling like these signs are such as just telling you how to control a 3D platformer, which, um... I mean, granted, I'm sure the audience at the time needed, but uh, me, not so much. Good afternoon, the Lecto Bros here reported live from just outside Peach's Castle. Mario has just arrived on the scene and will be filming the action live as he enters the castle and pursues the missing power stars. Mr. Mario, how do you feel about the fact that Peach here has been kidnapped yet again? Oh, sorry, a seasoned cameraman will be shooting from the recommended angle, but you can change the camera angle with the right stick. If we can't adjust the view any further, we'll buzz to take a look at the surrounding stop and tilt R forward. Press B to resume play. Switch camera modes with the R button. Signs along the way will review these instructions. For now, reporting live, this has been the Lakitu Bros, signing off. Back to you, Simicraft. Thank you, Lakitu Bros. It's always good to have a, uh... Well, an overview as to how our camera system works, because that is important for the viewers at home to realize. Welcome. No one's home. Now scram. And don't come back. Wahaha. Hmm. Seems to be a situation here, to say the least. Alrighty. We are in the Peach's Castle now. And I'm... Quite... I don't know what this says about me, but I picked up that coin, and I was just like, Ah, oh, drat, I'm gonna have to, like, restart the level. <sighs> don't become a challenge YouTuber, guys. It, it messes you up. 
permanently. Okay. Well, that doesn't bode well for us doing well at this game. Into the painting we go. I will say, as, well, I guess as someone who's played Super Mario 64 DS, I do know a lot more about the structure of this game than I knew about Sunshines. Wow, you're smack in the middle of the battlefield. You'll find the power stars that Bowser stole inside the painting worlds. First, talk to the bomb buddy. Press A to talk. He'll certainly help you out, and so will his comrades in uh, the other areas. I almost said comrades in arms. Just, it's a good phrase. We should use it more often. Uh, to read signs. Yes, I know. I know. I read the sign that told me how to read signs. I, I know how to do it. H Hello, sir. Hi, you. It's dangerous to go alone. Take the. I mean, so, so it's dangerous to go ahead. Uh, so listen up. Take my advice. Cross the two bridges ahead, then watch for falling water bombs. The big bomb at the top of the mountain is very powerful. Don't let him grab you. We're bomb bomb buddies, and we're on your side. You can talk to us whenever you'd like to. Well, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, I will utilize this cannon if, if at all feasible. Alright, doesn't seem to be happening. We will utilize the path like a civilized person, then, if they so insist. Anyways, I am curious to see how I adapt to this game. Because, obviously, I'd say I was pretty good at Super Mario Galaxy, because that is kind of my Mario game. Uh, that is what I uh, was raised on. And Super Mario Sunshine, I was... Uh, and I think I got better with time, but let's be honest, I was not very good at Super Mario Sunshine. Ooh, red coins. And it'll be interesting to see uh, how well and quickly I can adjust to the controls of Super Mario 64. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. I do have a bit of experience with DS, but I'm not sure if that will translate to this game or not. We'll see, though. We will see. One thing I'm already noticing is... I'm not sure exactly how to explain it, but I feel like this game might... Like... I don't know. The 360-degree movement doesn't quite feel as smooth as in other games, so I feel like I'm getting locked into like certain directions with my jump, uh, more so than you do in Sunshine and Galaxy. And I'm not sure if that is due to potentially... like more or less directions you can actually run in, or if it's more so just a uh, matter of maybe less ability to change your mid-air momentum. I've... yeah. But it does feel different, uh, Of course, you didn't come here to uh, watch me complain about Super Mario 64, and honestly, that was not a complaint. Thus far, I'm having a splendid time climbing up this here mountain. Uh, it's just something to note, something I am going to need to get used to if I want to have any amount of success on this game. Okay, let's just take a shortcut. Hello, good sir. It's a me, Mario. Oh, I'm the big bomb. Ba bomb. I'm the big ba bomb, lord of all blasting matter, king of kabooms the world over. How dare you scale my mountain? By what right do you set foot on my imperial mountain top? You may have eluded my guards, but you'll never escape my grasp. And you'll never take away my power star. I hereby challenge you, Mario. If you want the star I hold, you must prove yourself in battle. Can you pick me up from the back and hurl me to this royal turf? I think that you cannot. Well, we'll see about that. I do recall when I was uh, doing, I think, the King bob boss fight in uh, 64 DS, I didn't realize uh, that you were- I thought you were trying to toss him off the mountain, which uh, was not the case, and you're just kind of trying to toss him onto the mountain. Oh, yikes. Uh, please let me down, please, sir. Thank you, thank you. That could have been very bad. Much bad. Okay. It's not a dive. It's just uh, walk up behind him and then punch him. Punch. Punch him. 
Okay, you got this one. Go. Go, he's in your grasp. There we go. There we go. I knew you had it in you, Mario. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Got to do it just one more time. Probably. That, that's how Mario normally works. So, thank you. And away. What? Can it be that a big squeak like you is to fuse the bomb king? You might be fast enough to ground me, but you'll have to pick up the pace if you want to take King Bowser by the tail. Me thinks my troops could learn a lesson from you. Here is your star, as I promised. Mario, if you want to see me again, select the star from the menu. For now, farewell. Well then. I will say, one interesting thing about this game as compared to its uh, more contemporary- no, not contemporary. More modern, uh, brothers and sisters, if Mario games have genders. Not sure about that. Uh, let's see. You've recovered one of the stolen power stars. Now you can open some of the sealed doors in the castle. Try the princess's room on the second floor and the room with the painting of Womp's Fortress on floor one. You say that as if uh, I know what a Womp's Fortress is. This is my first time playing this game. Come on. Bowser's troops are still gaining power, so you can't give up. Save us, Mario. Keep searching for stars. That was the worst delivery, perhaps, in the history of Mario. Well, okay, maybe not the history of Mario, but in a different history. Uh, we've got a foot race with Koopa the Quick going on now. Ba bombs good to see ya, but I've got a Koopa to race, I believe. Hello. Hey, Mario! Is it true that you beat the big ba bomb? Cool! You must be strong. I'm pretty fast. So, how fast are you anyway? Fast enough to beat me? Koopa the Quick? I don't think so. Just try me! How about a race to the mountaintop, where the big ba bomb was? What do you say? What do I say? Go! Let the race begin! Ready? Go! Okay. I believe we will do this quite successfully. Quite successfully indeed. Uh, now, we weren't super quick on our initial climb up, but we were, we were having fun. We were exploring the, the region, the battlefield, the mountain. Now that uh, things are getting serious, I believe the pressure will create an environment conducive for us to uh, show our full proper might and show up our success and show up Koopa the Quick. I mean, I don't even think there are boulders, so... Uh, okay, never mind, there are definitely boulders. Uh, I was mistaken and premature in judging that there were not indeed boulders because, as it turns out, there in fact are some boulders. Uh, at, also, render distance of this game, kind of awful, if I am being perfectly honest. I mean, granted, I do know it's a kind of a tech hardware limitation thing, or at least was back in the day. I, I presume the Switch would be capable of uh, slightly further rendering. Don't get fancy, just, just walk up the path. There we go. And I guess we get on this... I'm not letting go of this pole until I see a Koopa. Oh, oh. Is that him? There he is! My man, my Koopa the Quick. Hello. <sighs> Whoa! You really are fast! A human blur! Here you go. You've won it. Fair and square! Well, thank you, Koopa the Quick. I will be taking that. Here we go. Alrighty, foot race with Koopa the Quick completed. We will be uh, saving and continuing, because we always save the game. We, we never don't save the game. Perfect backflip. Side flip, technically, I think. Alright, shoot to the island in the sky. Sounds good to me. But bombs this probably has to do with you, I'd imagine. I think this one's... Never mind. I was gonna say he's mute. My apologies. He is very talkative. 
Thank you, Mario. The big bomb is nothing but a big dud now. But the battle for the castle has just begun. Other enemies are holding the other power stars. If you recover more stars, you can open new doors that lead to new worlds. Mob bomb buddies are waiting for you. Be sure to talk to them. They'll set up the cannons for you. Like uh, you. Hey, hey, cannons. We're peace-loving bombs, so we don't use cannons. But if you'd like to blast off, we don't mind. Help yourself. We'll prepare all of the cannons in this course for you to use. Bon voyage. Ready for blast off? Come on, hop into the cannon. You can reach the star on the floating island by using the four cannons. Use the left stick to aim, then press B to fire. If you're handy, you can grab onto trees or poles to land. Alrighty, well, let's go. This game has a lot more text than Mario games do these days. And, like, you've got, like... Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure how to feel about that. Uh, let's go up there. I guess I did not sufficiently account for gravity. We can grab a red coin, though. That's fun. Alrighty, round doze. As in doze off, because it'll be so easy we could do this in our sleep. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, probably not, but... Uh, it's always good to strive for stuff. Okay. Okay, even higher this time. Like, like this? Maybe? I'm not sure if that was too high or not high enough. Okay. Let's try this yet again. Hello. Anyways, uh, but on the text uh, thing... I also do think it's kind of interesting that, like... If I recall correctly... Sheesh, I am not good at these cannons, as it turns out. Um... If I recall correctly... And actually, I believe that bob was just evidence of this. The bosses in this game tend to just, like, flat-out state their, like, weak points. Which seems kind of stupid to me, at least in terms of the... Judging the boss's intelligence, I'm not saying it's bad from a game design perspective. I mean, let's be honest, this was, like, the first 3D game 99% of the population of the time ever played, so, uh, you know. I mean, they've got enough to worry about with just the new dimensions. You, you don't need to be confusing them with uh, having to intuit themselves how to... You, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna try a different way to that island. I'm not even... Were we even supposed to go to the island this, uh, time? I'm not even sure. Uh, but, uh, you know, there's always something. Something new to discover here in, uh, Super Mario 64, so, uh, we'll just keep on moving around until we find a star worth getting. Anyways, uh, what was I saying? Ah, uh, yes, they tend to talk about their weak points, which is kind of interesting, because that's something you wouldn't catch uh, a Mario boss doing these days, that's for sure. What the heck is this for? Hello? Oh, can I wall jump up this? Eh, 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 eh. Come, no? Ah, okay, okay, fine, fine. I won't wall jump up it then. I should be able to, though. What's this? Ooh, a cannon. Maybe we can go from here. What? You, where even is here? Okay, we've got a tree. A mountain. That's about it. I guess we'll go up the mountain? Hopefully this works out. Ah, like a charm. Okay, like, if we could get to there, that would be wonderful. Is there, like... Ooh, we got a cannon, boys. We got a cannon. Okay. So if we just aim straight at that tree, more or less... Like, that should do it. Perfect. Get a red coin. 
Uh, we should probably actually read these signs. Hello. When you put on the wing cap that comes from a red block, do the triple jump to soar high into the sky. Use the L stick to guide Mario. Pull back to fly up, tilt forward to nose down, and press ZL to land. Okay. Just one problem. There, there, there is no wing cap, so, um... Yeah. Uh, what have we got here? Ah, oh, we've got a star! Just like in Mario Party. Or, you know. Oh, that's why Mario Party has stars. Because Super Mario 64 has stars. So, like, a Mario thing. Oh. Honestly, I should have pieced that together way sooner. You've recovered three power stars. Now you can go. You can open any door with a three on its star. You can come and go from the open courses as you please. The enemies ahead are even meaner, so be careful. Who's saying that? Like, it's obviously not Bowser. Is it Peach? Is it just Mario's internal monologue? I don't know. But what I do know is that uh, with three stars under our belt, I'm feeling pretty good and it's time to end this episode. So until next time, I've been Simicraft, playing Super Mario 64 on Super Mario 3D All-Stars, and I'll catch you in the very next episode. Goodbye.